So, how does oxygen become a drug to treat various conditions? Normally, the air that you breathe is a mixture of gases, with oxygen accounting for about 21% of this mixture. However, during hyperbaric therapy, you will breathe 100% oxygen and in pressure, causing the oxygen to dissolve into the plasma within your blood. This is known as hyperoxia. It also allows for higher concentrations of oxygen to flow through the body, including the areas with limited blood flow. This results in improved healing. Click on the system buttons to learn how hyperbaric oxygen therapy treats different conditions. An intracranial abscess is a pus-filled cavity in the brain, as you can see on the screen. Bacteria present in your blood can cause this infection. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy increases the oxygen concentration in the blood and kills these bacteria. Due to the increase in oxygen, new blood vessels develop in the affected areas. This improves the effectiveness of antibiotics and the body's protective system response or immune response, which helps to clear the abscess from the brain. The central retinal artery is a blood vessel which supplies blood to the eye. A sudden loss of vision occurs when this blood vessel is obstructed. Hyperbaric therapy increases the oxygen concentration and dissolves oxygen into the blood, resulting in wide oxygen distribution. This allows oxygen to reach the retinal layer of the eye through other blood vessels. In patients with cilial retinal artery, an additional artery of the eye is present. Increased oxygen reaches the retinal layer faster, thus leading to rapid healing and return of vision. Carbon monoxide poisoning occurs when carbon monoxide attaches itself to hemoglobin an oxygen-carrying protein in the blood. This results in formation of a toxic compound called carboxyhemoglobin. Hyperbaric therapy makes the blood oxygen rich by dissolving an increased amount of oxygen in the blood. This action breaks the bond between the hemoglobin and carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is then eliminated from the body rapidly through the lungs during breathing. Nitrogen appears as a bubble in your blood vessel and obstructs the movement of blood and its components. Hyperbaric therapy increases the oxygen concentration in the blood vessels, forcing the nitrogen out of the bubble and effectively reducing its size. The nitrogen bubble is then eradicated from the body through the lungs during breathing. A similar effect is obtained when treating bubbles present in an air or gas embolism. Patients with severe blood loss anemia have low oxygen carrying capacity due to much lower amounts of hemoglobin and red blood cells in the blood. HVOT delivers increased oxygen under pressure, resulting in large amounts of oxygen being dissolved into the blood. This maintains the body's oxygen demand and can sustain life until other medical therapies become effective. Osteomyelitis is an infection in the bone. Harmful bacteria present in the bone cause the infection which can lead to pus formation and bone destruction. Hyperbaric therapy increases the oxygen concentration in the blood and kills the infection that is caused by the bacteria. The growth of new bone forming cells is stimulated and dead bone cells are eliminated from the bone. Antibiotics are more effective due to the formation of new blood vessels leading to rapid healing of this condition. Radiation injuries may affect bone or other soft tissue. Osteoradionecrosis is one such injury that occurs most commonly in the lower jaw. HVOT increases the concentration in the blood, 
stimulating new bone-forming cells in the affected area. It also stimulates the stem cells, which are the body's master cells that have the ability to form different cells to help heal this condition. Hyperbaric therapy is effective in improving tissue hypoxia, or low levels of oxygen in the tissue, which is a common problem in all chronic wounds. The therapy increases the oxygen concentration around the wound, resulting in formation of new blood vessels. Additionally, hyperbaric oxygen stimulates many cells important for healing, such as the formation of new skin cells that help to close the wound. Hyperbaric therapy can be used to treat problem wounds, including diabetic ulcers, compromised skin grafts and flaps, brush injuries, and thermal burns. Gascaine green and necrotizing fasciitis are both caused by harmful bacteria that can cause severe infection and destruction of skin and muscle. HBOT increases the oxygen delivered to these areas which kills the harmful bacteria. It also enhances the activity of white blood cells and certain antibiotics. These all result in rapid healing. 